In 12 hours, polls will open across Virginia and voters across the Commonwealth will decide a number of things, including the next governor. And the polls are showing a tight race between Republican Glenn Youngkin and Democrat Terry McAuliffe, a race being closely watched across the country. And CBS 6 is bringing you in-depth coverage tonight. Our Melissa Hippolyte has inside perspectives on the lieutenant governor candidates. And Cameron Thompson tells us about McAuliffe's final push on the campaign trail. But we start tonight with our Jake Burns, who tells us how Youngkin is rallying his supporters tonight. Jake. Candace, you mentioned those polls. Youngkin's team is sensing some, there's some momentum on their side, and they tried to highlight that at his final rally in our area this afternoon in Chesterfield. This Norman Greenbaum jam gets anyone moving. Plus, Glenn Youngkin feels the election is moving his way. This race is neck and neck. We're coming up on the outside passing, but we got to get it done tomorrow. Youngkin's campaign has focused their closing message on education and what he calls Democrats' intrusion into personal life. This is a moment for Virginians to push back on this left liberal progressive agenda and take our Commonwealth back. His final event near the Richmond Metro before polls close inside this Chesterfield Airport hangar, Youngkin promising to give small businesses a tax holiday and cut regulation without offering specifics. Let me be clear. Governors do not create jobs. Businesses and people do, not governors. On the pandemic, Youngkin has said he backs the vaccine, just not mandates. Rhetoric that Democrats say is dangerous. Youngkin drawing a different contrast with his opponent, Terry McAuliffe. He wants to make your life difficult by forcing your employer to fire you if you don't want the vaccine and not let you get unemployment. The President Trump factor is a reality of Republican politics. Political experts say Youngkin has towed the line of accepting the former president's support, but not full bore in a state that Trump lost twice. On Tuesday, the 45th president twice sending out statements saying he and Youngkin support similar policies. This is his stage and his platform and we are his people. Gaydana Vandergriff says that comparison leaves out Youngkin's focus on the issues, like education. I'm a former PTA president too, and so parents in Virginia have always stood up for their children. And it's always been welcomed until recently. I'm worried about the future of our children. I'm worried about the future of Virginia's economy. I'm worried about getting our taxes down. I'm worried about our communities being safe. In a Commonwealth that's been trending blue, Youngkin arguing Virginians want a new direction. We have 36 hours to close this saying out. 36 hours to get our Virginia move in the right direction. 36 hours to reject Terry McAuliffe. 36 hours for a new direction in Virginia. After a rally in Virginia Beach this evening, Youngkin will watch election returns up in Northern Virginia. 